Hey friends, welcome to Florida Day 7. Is it day 7 already? We are in a bit of a rush, hence why I'm starting outside and our lift has just pulled up to take us to Ohana for breakfast. I've heard so many great things about this breakfast so I'm excited. Wow, beautiful. Me and my mum walked towards this hotel and we both said wow at exactly the same time. It's so pretty. So Ohana is in the Polynesian resort, I hadn't said that yet so that's where we are. It's obviously like Polynesian, island, Hawaii vibes. I think I love it. I have a hard time choosing now, this one or Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. So just waiting for our table, but this resort is so beautiful. I can't believe that this is a view. So Ohana is family style, which means it's like a buffet and you can eat as much as you want, but you don't go off and serve it yourself, they just bring like loads of it to the table. But like if you want like more sausages or something, you just tell them and like they bring you more. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, that looks And the fresh bowl fruit, okay? Thank you. So you've got some fruit and this bread. Chris, do you want to try the bread? Is it nice? So they're going to bring me my own uh, gluten free donut, but I'm just going to have a little bit of this bread. That's so good. Maybe I'll be having some more of that bread. <laughs> that is delicious, 10 out of 10. It's like really sweet pineapple. I just can't even explain it, it's like the best bread I've ever had. So she came around and she poured us all pug juice. I love pug juice. <laughs> Are you glad you came now? Yeah, I very nearly, very, very nearly didn't. Why? Just yesterday with the heat. Because you're too full. Everything's aching and then I'm still full from last night's <laughs> dinner. But that bread made it worth while we're coming out. Yeah. Right? So good. Yeah. And more pop juice. <laughs> you finished it already, you haven't even started. <laughs> well, hurry up and drink it before we do. <laughs> she brought us a whole bottle of pop juice. <laughs> Look, it's a turtle. So our food has come, so this is my gluten free one. We've got gluten free Mickey waffles, I think. This is a gluten free stitch waffle. How is a stitch? It is stitch. Upside down. It's upside down. Nope, there we go. Ah, yes. 626. Six. Well, I like the theme of Mickey. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then. Oh yeah, you do have a demon Mickey. <laughs> and then we've got these beautiful looking potatoes, scrambled eggs. Um, this is ham with pineapple. Then some sausages. And I think that's everything. Oh, and you guys have biscuits. Mum's making a mess as always. I always make a mess. <laughs> big fan of the sausage and waffle and the eggs and then this is the ham with the pineapple on mm. that's so nice I'm not a really big gammon fan as well so the fact that I really like that is impressive it's so soft mm. 10 out of 10 I've been defeated I can only have one plate my favorite thing was the ham what about you 
I like the potatoes. Chris liked the potatoes the best, Mum. The bread. The bread was my mum's favourite. But top tip, don't book Ohana breakfast after you've been to a buffet the night before. Alright guys, we are back in Epcot because I am a silly billy. So we're in Ohana and it's in the Polynesian which is right next to Magic Kingdom and you can get a monorail between them. Kind of iconic piece of Disney transportation, it's like a train and we wanted to try it so my mum was like let's get the monorail to Magic Kingdom and then the bus back to the resort and we'll chill for a couple of hours before we go to the mall. So I'm like, that sounds great, but I don't really want to chill for a couple of hours. Like, I want to make the most of my holiday, so I'm going to head into Magic Kingdom Park. But after COVID, you need park reservations for if you want to go into a park. And my mum was like, well, our park reservation today was for Hollywood Studios. So I was like, that's fine. I'll just cancel that, and then I'll book a new one for Magic Kingdom. So I cancelled the Hollywood Studios one. Magic Kingdom was sold out. And then Hollywood Studios was sold out. So I was like, well, now where am I going to go? So now I'm in Epcot and I love Epcot, so it's fine. But I'm back here for the third time and I've only been to the others once. Um, I don't know why I was holding up two fingers. So yeah, so the first thing I need is a bottle of water and then I'm going to head in a long queue. Oh my God, that's a long queue. Just for some water. No, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, I think I'm just going to get into the frozen queue. I don't care how long it is, I've never done the ride, and I want to. So, after I've got some water, we're heading to Norway, and we're going to go do the frozen ride. But on the way to the frozen ride, I realised it's only 10 minutes to meet Anna and Elsa, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's only one of them or both, but we're we going to find out. <laughs> I met Anna and Elsa and it was so fun. Um, when I when you were waiting, you were in this little like house and it had so many little frozen details and I love frozen so I loved it. Um, the frozen ride is 75 minutes but I'm still gonna wait I think.
that was really fun. I don't think I waited 75 minutes. I think it was about 45 to an hour. It did feel quite a long time because I was standing by myself. But yeah, it was worth the wait. I really enjoyed myself. Um, it was like a little bit thrilling, but obviously it's my kids ride, so there was no like big drops or anything. But I didn't know I was gonna get wet. That was totally unexpected, but I don't mind like a water ride, so I was okay with it. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it and I'm glad that I went for it. So now I need to get in touch with my mum and see what she wants to do, whether I'm gonna spend a bit more time here or whether I'm gonna head back to the hotel and then go to the mall, so I'll keep you updated. Finally found our first Remy. That's tiny, how was I supposed to see that? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I literally overheard someone's conversation pointing him out and being like, oh look, there's Remy. So then I looked, otherwise I wouldn't have found it. So now I know what I'm looking for. I'm gonna continue looking. So my mum's not feeling well, so I'm staying in the parks. So I've come to do a test track for the first time and it's a 65 minute wait, but they have a single rider queue, which is perfect, because it's only one of me. So we'll see how fast this goes. And I'm here already. I literally just walked on. Test track was so fun. I can't believe a single rider. I literally just walked on instead of waiting for 65 minutes. That's insane. It was like you were in a car and it went really, really quickly. Um, I didn't want to film on it just in case. I didn't want to film on it just in case it was too fast and it kind of was. So yeah, test track, really quick car. I didn't film because I was worried that my camera would fly out of my hand and I'm glad that I didn't film. But they did take a picture, so pop that in here. And now I'm heading towards France to do one of the only rides left on my bucket list, which is Remy's Ratatouille. Remy the Ratatouille was fun, but it wasn't my favourite. So we actually got stuck there because somebody had dropped something on the track. So they stopped the ride for a good like five minutes and I was stuck in the most anxiety inducing place ever, like just waiting for this rat to pop this cork off and like for it to hit you. Oh, it's horrible. Um, <laughs> I really did not enjoy that part, but as a silver lining, I had heard that if you get stuck on a ride, you can ask them if you can redo the ride without waiting. So nobody else in my party, like obviously I wasn't with anyone that I knew, but nobody like on the rides around me asked, but I asked and she was like, yeah, like just follow like this lady or whatever. So I went down um, and I just like skipped past everybody in a single rider queue. And like they don't offer single rider, I don't think. So they do have the queue available, but they're just not offering it yet. So. I don't know why. Um, so yes, yeah, so then I got to ride a second time and it is a little bit better the second time because I wasn't stuck in that horrible place but it was gonna traumatize me. Um, and then I came out and it was torrential rain so I got caught in the rain so I'm soaked. Um, and so I just waited for maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour for the rain to die down before I came out. And now I've finished everything on my Epcot bucket list. I did Remy, I did Frozen, I did Test Track. Um, so I didn't need to stay in Epcot anymore. Um, I called my mum and she's still not feeling well, so we're not gonna go to the mall today. So then I have a couple of options. I could go to Hollywood Studios and finish off some things there, or I can go to Disney Springs. So I saw this bus, the, it's not even a bus. I saw this boat, the boat is actually coming towards me now. Um, and the boat went to Hollywood Studios, so I was like, okay, that's my decision made. But to be honest, I'm quite tired. My feet are really sore and I'm soaking wet. So I got to the boat and they're like, oh, this boat is about to leave, um, but you can walk to the beach club. 
which is behind me and it's stunning. Um, they were like, walk to the beach club and get a bus to Hollywood Studios from there, in which case I could just get a bus to Disney Springs. So I feel like the decision has been made. I'm going to Disney Springs. I may buy myself some new clothes um, because I'm really wet. This is the boat, how cute. So yeah, I think this whole thing is the beach club and it is amazing. It looks like little Barbie dream houses. I was just chilling on this beach in front of the beach club on this rocking chair over there um, and then I felt it start to rain again. So I think that's my sign. I need to get the bus. So we finally got into Disney Springs. It's so beautiful here, the weather's so much nicer. There's a few shops I really want to go in that I haven't been into yet. Unique Low and Basin, which is like lush. I feel like Unique Low is made for me. Like I'm such a big fan of just like good quality basics. And I've wanted like a top with a built-in bra for so long and they have so many options. So many colours. See? She's cute. I literally didn't think they were gonna, gonna let me in because I got so much so much stuff. So I like this top, it's one of those with a built-in bra, and then I like these black leggings as well. They've got pockets in and they're on sale. So, I might, I might get this. So, these are all the medium leggings and none of them are on sale as it turns out. And all the other sizes are... I'm sad. I don't want to pay $40. Is it even a Disney Springs trip? <laughs> if you don't go to World of Disney. I did not get the sign in there whatsoever. The bracelet I was eyeing up has gone. Favorite um, spirit jersey so far. It's a bit out there, but it's really nice if you like Star Wars, which I do. This one is sick. It's Bruno. Encanto makes me really happy, and to think that the first time I watched it, I fell asleep and I didn't think it was very good. And then since then, I've seen it about five times. Um, I love it. So that was a really cool spirit jersey. So the Disney star is there and the basin is over there. I can smell it already. It smells so good. I think it smells better than Lush. It's fresh. Like it's not as sweet. Mm. We have Disney bath bombs. These soaps are so cool. And so many of them are themed around Mickey. Jason had some really fun things, but the thing I went in to try that I forgot that I went in to try was an Adam Hatton recommendation, and it was a sugar souffle or the body scrub. Salt scrub, sugar scrub, whatever it is that I tried. It is amazing. I had a lemon scented one, and that's like one of my favorite scents anyway. But my, my skin has never been so soft. I really, really want one with a $36 each for the body scrub, I think. But it's so soft. I am a massive fan of this t-shirt and this is the back. That Star Wars shop has some really cool things in. That top I'm obsessed with. I get obsessed with things so easily, okay? But they only have 3x large and maybe it would work like oversized but I'm not sure. The Christmas shop. It's actually giving me so much joy being in this Christmas shop, hearing the Christmas tune. I am I am obsessed with Christmas. Everybody knows this. This is a really nice ball. Considering we came in the 50th. It's really nice. I've always wanted to go in here. And you can create your own treats here. I can't even remember the last thing that I vlogged because it just started to torrential rain. So obviously I just put the camera away and I wanted to go find a place to eat. I am still not hungry after this morning's breakfast. Like, just don't 
book a big breakfast after a buffet. Like I'm just, I'm still full. But I just feel like I should eat. I don't know if I'm cold, if I'm bored or what, but I just really wanted to eat. So I tried to find a place to eat for shelter, but all the places were so packed you had to queue outside to get in, which obviously defeated the point. So I was like, let me just get the bus back to the resort and then eat in the resort, which is where I am. So I asked Chris if he wanted to come join me and he could come bring our resort mug, so he said yes. So I met him at the door and I was like, where are the resort mugs? And he forgot to bring them. So he's gone all the way back, bless him. Like I told him not to, but he wanted to anyway. So yeah, silly Billy. Um, so I've ordered pizza and fries and I'm waiting for it to say that it's ready. And it's been a really long time, I'm not gonna lie. It's only been like 10 minutes, but that's a long time to me. But again, like I'm, at, I'm literally not even hungry. So if I forget about my order, it's fine. I finally got my pizza, it looks really nice. It's good, it's just normal pizza. And then the star of the show are the Disney World fries. I got barbecue sauce, which I think it tastes nicer here. Have you tried this barbecue sauce? Very sweet, and then I also got the honey mustard, which is nice. So I'm finally back in the room. Star Wars is on, and I'm gonna stick down my Remy. What's that actually called? Remy's Rest to Hide and Squeeze stickers that I found today. So I'm pretty sure the China one was the peppercorn one, but I'm just gonna double check. Mom, look how small he is. Where is he? Oh. Holy cow. Yeah. <clears throat> now we see. Tricky, right? Very. So I'm gonna stick the peppercorn one in China. Yes. Satisfaction. And then the Australia one. I am 100 percent sure it was tea and coffee. But it's not on there. <laughs> The Australian Remy is a source of great contention. I think he's growing herbs. Christopher thinks he's got a bottle of olive oil. Mum just doesn't know. So we're gonna wait and see and check that one out again. Okay, so I've just started packing for Universal, so I thought I'll just end the video now. So this is the last part of like the Disney stuff for a while. So tomorrow, really early, we are going to the Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort. Is that what it's called? What? Lowe's Royal Pacific. Lowe's Royal Pacific, yeah. Yeah. In Universal, and we are staying there for one night, specifically because you actually get express, la, 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 <laughs> express passes for the day in that you check in and the day out that you check out. Um, which is such a good, it works out as a better deal for us because it's like $300 for the night or it'd be like $100 per person per day for the express bus. So when you do the math, it works out. Um, so yeah, so the earlier we get there, the earlier we can start using the express passes and get into the parks. So we're gonna try and get there early. Um, and yeah, obviously if you don't know, Universal is where all the Harry Potter stuff is. Um, as well as some other stuff, like they've just got a new Jurassic World ride. Um, they've got some Simpsons stuff if you're into that. And yeah, so it's kind of like, it's supposed to be for like, bigger kids, adults. Um, and we're big Harry Potter fans in this house, so excited about that. So yeah, I think that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed following along today. It did not match the plan that we had at all, but that's fine. Um, I can't believe that Ohana, Ohana was literally this morning, like, today has felt really long, but in a good way. And, yeah, now I've been packing my bags for Universal, just an overnight bag and my park bag. And then I'm going to go to sleep ready for my early morning tomorrow, so if that's something that you want to see, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so I know that you like it. And I will see you next time.